Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to have a look at where the next 17 days. In today's video, it takes us up to around the 17th of April. So just going off into the uh, second half of the month. It looks like it's going to keep a lot of high pressure influences really up to the middle of the month. It will tell a little bit more on the sale just briefly uh, around Saturday. I think it may bring some weather systems in from the northwest. But overall, high pressure uh, looks like it's going to be dominating after that little interruption around Saturday. It looks like the high pressure will build back again. So, uh, yeah, plenty of fine weather coming up. We'll have a look at the detail. On all that in a moment. Now, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages at gasoffice.com, of which it sits just underneath the video here on the home page. Have a uh, browse through, and if there's anything that you're interested in, please click through. You'll be able to go off and read the articles. Because you're clicking from Gas Office to where uh, the article is, we get a revenue fee of what you do. There's also uh, video ads, trying them out on some of the pages. They uh, open up with written content. They're just sort of TV commercial length, only around 30 seconds. So if you could watch it, uh, if you see it, then you'll be helping to pay for gas service. Like, all these things are basically uh, paying for website. Allow me to sit here and talk to you via gas service. So thanks for getting involved and thanks for doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the 500 bit of our height anomaly uh, flow chart. So the next 8 to 10 days, we've got the ECWF here on the left. The uh, GFS is over on the right. 500 bit of ours, 8,000 feet is an area in the atmosphere where high pressure and low pressure have been uh, moved around by a jet stream running above. Orange, red, extrapolated to high pressure. Blue, extrapolated to uh, low pressure. So uh, what we see for uh, the coming 8 to 10 days, and as I say, we say it's up to around the 17th of April, it's not got a big ridge of high pressure uh, around the UK. Um, jet stream is going something like that, so to the north, and uh, yeah, we've got a big ridge there indicated by those uh, orange and red colours. The uh, GFS is very similar, that's the East of Europe, but GFS is very similar, a little bit of a trough in the Atlantic, but uh, still the same sort of idea, really, that high pressure, uh, above average heights, high pressure is uh, very much in control there, sitting around uh, the UK. I say there's a little interruption, it's always more on set up to the north, where we're closer to that jet stream, but uh, overall, the weather looks like it's set there up to the middle of April. The GFS temperature and precipitation ensemble show that we're going to be generally above average with the temperatures over the uh, coming couple of weeks. The red line here is the 30-year temperature average. We're above average now. It was a lovely day yesterday. It's going to be staying pretty mild uh, through the course of the coming week. We do get a bit of a dip over the weekend. Actually, one or two uh, of these on some of them go quite cold just briefly over the weekend. Uh, and that's as it turns a bit more unsound and start bringing some cooler air in from the northwest. It looks like that's only a temporary thing, really, and the yeah, temperature should start to pick up again as we go through and run up towards the middle of the month. The uh, 15th of April is just there. Uh, in terms of the precipitation uh, spikes, well, uh, a very dry period, actually, coming up, uh, up to the middle part of the month. Again, 15th of April, just there. Hardly any precipitation spikes coming through up to that point. Few do uh, appear as we get this little dip in the temperature. That's just as it turns a bit more on Saturday. That's going to be mainly up in the north and west where we could get some precipitation coming through there. But very little, I think, coming down to the south southeast. Now, in the second half of the month, you see the spikes do come back indicates that it could turn increasingly unsettled in the second half of the month. So there's still this idea at play. You notice that as you get through towards the last stages of the ensemble, uh, some members of the ensemble do go significantly colder than average uh, beyond sort of the 20th of April. So there's still this idea in play uh, that I've spoken about in uh, previous videos over recent days, that as we get through to the final week to 10 days of the month, could turn significantly more unsettled and also potentially colder uh, as well. So I have to keep an eye on that. But uh, this video is just really dealing with the next eight to, uh, eight to 10 days. And up to that point, it looks mainly dry and settled. Temperature anomaly, not coming out that far above that ridge, actually. You would probably expect that to be a little bit warmer than that. It's probably because we're being offset by colder nights. Um, with these clearer skies, some of the nights will be really quite cold. So, yeah, the uh, precipitation uh, anomaly, or temperature anomaly, I should say, comes out uh, just a little bit above average, about uh, a degree or so uh, above average. So, uh, yeah, it's still a bit warm on average, but not uh, not too warm. The uh, precipitation anomaly comes out uh, drier than average, significantly drier than average for England and Wales in particular.
So here's the uh, generic uh, GFS for Saturday, and that's out in the introduction to the fine weather coming through. Uh, bring some rain up to the northwest in particular. I think that'll be very light and patch once it gets down to the south and southeast, but uh, just a little bit more unsettled as we go through into Saturday. But after that, it looks like high pressure going to build back in again. So by the time we get through to Monday, uh, Monday the 13th, the high pressure is back in across the country, turning it mostly dry and settled. Probably in slightly colder air, though. Uh, so temperatures will be back towards uh, sort of average as opposed to being a bit above average this week. As we move through in towards uh, a week's time, this is Tuesday the 14th, high pressure is centred over Germany, bringing in quite a, uh, a mild southeasterly flow across the country. It still is mostly dry as well. And then the high pressure just goes on through next week, repositioning a little bit more towards the northeast perhaps, so that could allow slightly warmer southerly winds eventually start to push up as we get through uh, towards day 10. And just beyond day 10, this is Friday the 17th, just here. Uh, and we go on to uh, Saturday the 18th. Just suggestion that we might bring up some slightly warmer air from the south then. But still, the idea is basically for high pressure to be in control. East MDF very similar, so we get that inter interruption to the fine weather on Saturday. That will bring most of the rain to the northwest, very little getting down south or southeast, but there could be some bits and pieces. And then after that, the high pressure sort of re establishing uh, around the country through to the start of next week, um, turning mostly dry and settled again, although albeit in a cooler uh, air mass. As we move through towards uh, day eight, uh, which is a week's time, uh, Tuesday the 14th of April, the high pressure is there across England. Wales, a little bit more unsettled for Scotland. And uh, then as we go beyond that up to day 10, as far as we can go with the East Central Earth, the general idea is probably for, for the pressure to begin to weaken just a little bit, um, and that could start to bring some showers in across the country. Although I'm a bit dubious about that chart, really. That, <coughs> excuse me, that looks a very odd chart, and I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It's 10 days away, so I would tend to discount that. I think the overall idea is up to the middle of the month, going to have a lot of high pressure influences a uh, little bit of an interruption uh, around Saturday, Friday, Saturday, a little bit more unsettled, but then the high pressure builds back in and probably takes us up to the middle part of the month. Quite what happens as we go beyond the middle of the month, the EWF there is very sort of uh, odd about what's going on there, but we saw from the GFS ensemble that the overall trend is probably as we get through to the last week to 10 days to turn it colder. And more and second, that idea still seem to be there uh, within the model output. But uh, certainly up to the middle of the month anyway, the weather very much set there, so enjoy it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.